Welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I have a throwback wig for you. And you guys know that if you have watched me for a long time that I have fallen in love with Layla. <laughs> now this wig is a wig again that is not new. That's why this is a throwback video. But I have her in a color that you have not seen me in in a minute. And that's red. <laughs> so let's look at it. Here she is. This is Layla. And the color that I have her in is called DR Raging Red. And she is raging. So I'm going to put a wig grip on and a cap. And we are going to try her on. And we're going to talk a little bit about Layla. Now the first time I put Layla on when I bought her in, I think I had the color Hazelnut Honey. You guys know I just, I felt like, wow, this is like the wig. And I still feel that way even in this red color. Look at her just plopped on my head. <laughs> I think that this is probably one of the most fabulous simple part wigs. I mean, it's not really simple part because it has lace in the front. A simple part wig usually is one that just has a part and no lace, but this one does have lace in the front. But this wig, even in this red, even in this red, I think she's raging. <laughs> Let me show you what she looks like in the back. You guys have seen Layla before because again, she's not new, but man, I just think this wig is fabulous. I think she's just beautiful and she always has been in my book. She's always been a great wig in my book. Now again, what you can do with her is you can, you can glue her down if you want to in the front. I don't believe I ever glued her when I wore her. Now look at this. I like the fact that it's a 1B and the red. So you've got your nice um, 1B base there. And so the red is not going all the way through to the scalp. Um, I reviewed a wig by Bobby Boss not long ago that the red went all the way through to the scalp. And I didn't like that. I wanted the fact, I wanted it to have a little bit more like this one, a little bit more dark root. I'm just trying to control some of these baby hairs or rather flyaways, not baby hairs. And yeah. And you know, you can put, um, you can put baby hairs on this one. You can put baby hairs in the front on this one. But to me, I think after getting this red color, I think I kind of came to the conclusion that Layla is a beautiful wig regardless of what color you have her in. Um, especially for a mature woman, I think this is a really good length for us. Um, I just love this swoop bang. I always have. I mean, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful wig. It just really is beautiful. And uh, just a little bit of swoops in the front would be fine. I don't think you need to put a whole lot of baby hairs on this unit. I think if you just had like a few swoops in the front, that would be fine. Or even on the side. Um, I can probably do that really quickly. But yeah, um, I just don't want you guys to be forgetting about some of these older wigs that um, just because they've been around for a while doesn't mean that there's they're no good you know just because they've been around doesn't mean they're no good it doesn't mean you know you've got to get, have the latest and greatest I mean some people do have to have the latest and greatest in everything and I understand that some people just want to have the latest and greatest in everything but you don't necessarily have to all the time right you don't have to have the latest and greatest all the time in every single thing that you have you know you just don't have to and especially if it works. If you've got a unit that works, you don't necessarily have to have the latest and greatest all the time. 
So yeah, so just a little bit of a swoop in the front, you know, on both sides, and she's good to go. I mean, she really is. Um, wow. When I first got this wig, I think you guys remember, um, I really went so far as to throw my DeVita wig away <laughs> because this wig was, I don't think DeVita was a lace front. She might have been, but I don't think she was. And I think she was a right side part. And I think that's why I threw her away, uh, not literally, but I threw her away in the garbage can in that video. And I'll, I'll link that video up here so that you can see it. I did that because I love left side parts and that's just my thing. And when I put David in that trash can, it wasn't that I didn't love her, but I loved Layla even more because of the right side part, because it was a little bit longer, because of the swoop bang action going on here. And yeah. This, this wig is just fabulous, and she's fabulous probably in every color. Because when I first got her, I got her in the DRFF4 Hazelnut Honey. And she also comes in a Golden Honey, a Pearl Blonde, a Ginger Blonde, a Chocolate Swirl, a Strawberry Gold. All the others are dark rooted except the Strawberry Gold. And then of course your 1, 1B, and 2. But if you get this wig and you don't get it in a color, then you're really missing out because Layla, she's just, she's easy. She's beautiful. She's a great dinner wig. She's a great, you know, go, you know, maybe just for some drinks with your friends wig. I can't say enough about her. And I believe she came out, um, was it 2019, 2020? I don't even remember. I have to look it up. But uh, yeah, she came out, I believe she was pre-pandemic, if I'm not mistaken. She might have been pre-pandemic or close to it. But yeah, you know, just get those, get your flyaways in order. You know, you can put some powder in the part. Let me do that real quick. You can put some powder in this part if you feel like you need to do that. Just do that real fast. And I mean, this wig is, this wig is ready to go. She's ready. She's really ready. I don't put too much of a line there. I kind of spray my setting lotion on it to kind of soften it up a little bit, but you can't tell me this wig isn't fabulous. You can't tell me this wig isn't beautiful in whatever color you get it in. And she's still available and I will, um, I'll see if I can find a link to a store that may have more, the most colors for you so that you can have some choices. Now she may be sold out in a lot of places and I believe she is. And when I got this one in red, I think I was actually looking for a different color. And I think all they had was red when I got this one. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do red. I'm gonna do red and I'm gonna see if she looks just as fabulous in red as she did in the other colors. And she does. <laughs> so um, I have to say that this year, and I guess last year, maybe even the year before during the pandemic, I wasn't real happy with Outre and the quality of the wigs that were coming out. But when I go back to an old wig like this, and I really see that it's still exactly what I wanted, um, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I hope that they um, do better later in terms of what's been going on with some of their wigs because some of their wigs have been having some issues as you guys are probably aware. Um, there's some differences between, you know, from wig to wig, even if it's the same kind. There's, I've had a few issues with tracks. The hairline, of course, has been a big one for me. And I think I talked about that in my wig wish list for 2022 and I'm going to be talking again about my wig wish list for 2023 and kind of seeing if things changed if I got what I wanted in 22 and what I expect in the coming year so stay tuned for that but yeah ladies um Layla she's still banging she's still banging so you guys need to go pick her up wherever you can find her and you know another thing you can do and I don't always say this to people but go to the beauty supply store I bet you the beauty supply store has her. Now she may be m more expensive and they may have sales though. Cause you guys know when I went to Tyson, Tyson had this two for one on a lot of wigs and this one could be on that list now. You just never know. 
So yeah, go and get her if you don't have her. If you do have her, pull her out and show her some love. Pull her out and show her some love, ladies, because this wig is probably one of my best favorite wigs that Outre has, has made, so yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go off camera and play around with Layla. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And as I always say, ladies, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, and of course, so are you. See you next time.